Well, what is, I think, very important for Turkey, Turkish civil society, Turkish politicians to see is that in Europe today we have a major battle between two concepts of how to deal with the refugee crisis. On the one hand, we have uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel in Germany, the Dutch presidency, and a few other countries that say and have said for many months that the only way to solve this crisis is by working with Turkey, with Greece, and by European countries, a, a small group perhaps only, taking large numbers of refugees from Turkey uh, who don't need to risk their lives and who don't need to pay traffickers um, in return for Turkish help in controlling movements in the Aegean. Now this uh, Merkel-Dutch uh, initiative is uh, attacked on the other side by another group that is growing and stronger every week that says, uh, don't work with Turkey, it doesn't work, don't trust Greece, build walls. Um, don't give a promise of offering any asylum to Muslim migrants or refugees. Um, walls and fences are the only solution. Now, that second group politically tends to be opposed to uh, liberal values. It is opposed to refugees. It is opposed to Muslims. It is opposed to Turkey. Uh, and is very often pro-Putin, pro-Russian. Uh, often supported by Russia, the Front National in France, the far-right party in Austria, some governments in Central Europe. So in this battle between these two concepts, uh, Turkey has a huge stake. Turkey really has an interest that the German, Dutch, Swedish idea to work with Turkey uh, to share the responsibility prevails. Now in order for this to happen, steps need to be taken very fast. And there is a real pressure on the leaders like Angela Merkel um, to change course because they are not bringing results. So we have recommended very strongly that the EU needs to move forward and start resettling numbers of refugees from Turkey, that the EU needs to start the process of changing the regulation for visa liberalization so that it could happen even by the summer, and that Turkey and Greece need to prepare uh, for joint control of movement in the Aegean through the readmission agreement by Turkey's committing to take people back who reach Greece, but for Syrians to find a legal way to go to Europe. And if this is announced in two weeks, this would be extremely important because we need a signal that Turkey is part of the solution and that the solution can be liberal.